Hello friends, good morning and welcome to Lug Life. It is 5.20 in the morning. Our flight leaves Anchorage in one hour, 40 minutes. Sherry and I are almost ready to leave. Our lift is on the way, gonna take us to the airport. And we're excited to bring you guys another travel day vlog. Travel day vlogs are always one of my favorites because they mean one thing. Travel day vlogs mean that travel is happening, which means adventures are happening and memories are going to be made. I'm so excited to bring you guys along. Sherry Beth, mm -hmm. did you get an amazing night of sleep last night? Got like two hours. Yes, <laughs> this is the same. All I gotta do is zip up my suitcase. Sherry's suitcase is already outside and then I think we're just about good to go. Before we leave, we need to say goodbye to someone very, very special. Let's see, I think Missy is... Hi, Missy girl. We love you. We miss you. Your Aunt Desi is gonna come take care of you and we will see you in a week. No parties, no boys, stay safe. Our lift got us here safely. Our bags are checked now for TSA. And I want you guys to let us know in the comments below, is Sherry going to get randomly selected even though, <laughs> even though we have pre-check, like happens basically on every single flight. Right. I will say it is a very quiet morning here at Anchorage International. In fact, the only person I see right now is Santa. All right, Sherry, how did TSA go? I was not randomly selected. What? Right. Amazing. Also, speaking of amazing, Santa, a bear, and the moose. Okay, Anchorage Airport, I see you. It's still super early in the morning, but thank goodness Starbucks is open. So that stop number one for us today. We got coffee, we got breakfast. Now let's go find a seat at our gate. We need to make a purchase because somewhere along the way, Sherry lost her neck pillow. I have no idea where it is. It's been gone for a few years. Yeah, so, <laughs> so it's not coming back. Right. So we gotta figure out what neck pillow Sherry Beth wants to buy. Yeah. Oh, I see leopard prints, I see zebra prints. You know, you're in an airport in Alaska when they have a tea blend called Otterly Delicious. It is Otterly Delicious. <laughs> All right, Sherry, a decision was made. Decision you got your made. neck pillow? Yep. Also, the lady in there working. She was adorable. She's amazing, so helpful. Yep. All right, now we're going up to gate C8. Here we go, flight number one, Anchorage to Seattle. All right, friends, we are in our seats 15 A and B. Sherry is fiddling with something. It's about a three hour flight from Anchorage to Seattle. Sherry's got her coffee. I, well, my coffee's gone. Also, hilarious story. As I was walking down the jetway, my water bottle fell out of my backpack I was wearing and made like a giant boom. Uh, people freak out a little bit when you make a really loud noise on an airplane. Whoops. Sherry back. Yeah. He's over in the aisle seat because I think we lucked out and got an empty seat between us. Oh. We made it one flight down. We have just about three hours until our next flight. We're in the N terminal right now. We're gonna head over to C. So if you guys have watched our videos for a while, you know that when we have longer layovers in airports, we normally go to the Alaska Lounge. Um, I actually haven't renewed my Alaska Lounge membership. We thought about doing it today, but by the time we get some food, we're not gonna have a ton of time left. So I think we're gonna renew our lounge membership maybe on our flight back through Seattle, heading back home. But that is why no lounge for us today. We were walking past and Sherry saw the Elliott Bay books since that's where we are right now. She's perusing all the different books. And actually the thing we really need here is a bookmark. Apparently Sherry forgot to bring a bookmark so she's having to like memorize what page she's on in her book so my old brain doesn't do so well anymore so we're debating between the free bookmarks they have which is really nice that's cool they have that but i think sherry wants a fun fancy one so let's see what she chooses like that one sherry found the perfect bookmark mm -hmm. drink good coffee read good books yep that is very on brand for you mm -hmm. so i've positioned myself strategically with sherry on my left and the coach door on my right so that if she tries to come this way I can pull an old football move and just like go for the block so very strategic 
Sherry. Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, the store sparkles, and so she had to come in here. It's like all sparkly. I'm very proud of you, Sherry. Got it a coach, bought nothing. No, but I did have Adam add like six items to my Christmas list. That is true. The Christmas list grew <laughs> with a stop at coach. Okay, so right up here is food which is exactly what we need. Here's our option, we got sushi down there, we got evergreens, Italian, Chinese. Over here is like, um, I think they have like clam chowder. I think that's what we got last time, maybe? So now to figure out what the heck we want. So we settled on Chinese for lunch and um, this smells unbelievable. I got the Mongolian beef with noodles, got some spring rolls to share. Sherry got the- um, Teriyaki chicken. With noodles and mm -hmm. Sherry Beth, what do you think? It smells really good. It smells really fresh too. Yeah. This is from Peiwei, I think it's pronounced. I don't think I've ever had it before. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, let's give it a try. This Sherry and I were just joking that if we were at home, we would totally keep these. Like <laughs> these are basically like off the containers we use for lunches, mm -hmm. but not at home, so we can't keep them. Can I pet that doll? Can I pet that doll? All right, lunch is done. We're exploring a store called Fireworks. A bunch of really fun things like an avocado toast flush <laughs> and little mustache tattoos. <laughs> Think of how much fun we could have with those. True. They have a display here of enamel pins and they have amazing ones. Like, look at the Willie Nelson, Bob Ross, Elton John, Smash the Patriarchy, <laughs> Lizzo. These are great. They have an advent calendar here that is absolutely stunning. You can see each day has its own little box. But look at the detail on that. Uh, don't know how I'd get that home from the airport, but that's really pretty. All right, Sherry, let's see it. Yep, now you are in the festive holiday spirit. I mean, this towel is not wrong. This may be my favorite airport store, like, of all time. Um, also, Sherry could write this book, for sure. Okay, what did you just do? Because it's super creepy. I Finger no, hands. no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. That store was amazing. It really was. If you're coming through SeaTac, go into fireworks. There is so much stuff to look at. Cherry oh back. We made it. We are in Orlando now, grabbing the train, going to get our bags, going to get our car. This is fun to see like the Disney World 50th stuff. Actually, it's fun to see in person in person because I just saw it in Auburn's vlog when they got back. And now I get to actually see it myself. Just walked out of TSA and we're kind of here in this like main courtyard area. You can see the TSA check areas over here, the higher Regency all around us. But you guys look at the Christmas tree at night all lit up here. It's beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> now, downstairs to get our bags. Well, this is a good sign. Here is one of our two bags. Look at that, Sherry. We got both of our bags. Let's go get our rental car. Okay. We're gold members with Hertz. We can pick any car here in this section. Sherry Bath. But now the dilemma. What do you want to drive for a week? This is one of the most like nerve wracking decisions of the entire travel because it's like what you choose is what you're stuck with. <laughs> and we can pick okay, from- We know that we like the Rogues. Okay, we do Driven know that we like before. Nissan Rogues, yep. Okay. We like that. Okay. That's a good maybe. And one of the nice things about being gold is that it doesn't matter what like kind of car as far as size we reserved, we just can take anything here. Like, I love, love, love the way that Hertz takes care of us. There's like a red flashy thing, but it's got New York plates, so don't want that. There's no Corvettes. There's no Corvettes. Which I know is what you are like accustomed to. So this is gonna be it, you guys. Our vehicle for the next week. All right, we just got in here, and the radio station that it is like set to is a Spanish station. Um, Desi's not with us though. So we are not gonna leave it on the Spanish language station. <laughs> um, I don't really know what station to put it on. Like, what's a good music station in Orlando? Well, we'll find one. When you fly in late at night, the only things that are open are like fast food, McDonald's, Burger King, Taco Bell kind of places. You skip those and you go to Wawa. <laughs> I'm much more excited about this 
than sherry is, but I think you're gonna be surprised at the quality of the Wawa food sherry. Are we doing Wawa subs for dinner? You bet your butts we are. This is Sherry's first ever <laughs> Wawa sub, and I think she's I think she's a little bit impressed. So far so good. Is this too many choices for midnight? <laughs> Freak out! Alright, we got our sandwiches ordered. Sherry's looking at chips, what you find? For you. Yo, spicy cheddar jack. Uh, I would normally say yes to that. I'm because we're gonna be on the road and it's midnight and I haven't eaten much today. Uh, for the sake of my stomach, we might pass. All right, I went with the Italian sub and Sherry. What did you go with? Barbecue chicken strips. Chicken strip sub. Yo. I like that you can just put anything on a few pieces of bread and call it a sub. And it's like, I don't know, put some chicken strips on there. Call it a chicken strip sub. Okay. Sounds awesome. So, sure. we are gonna go eat. It is 11.54, shuttle launch is at one. That took much longer than we expected. Yeah. So, even worst case scenario, like, cause you can see the launch even from here in Orlando. Uh -huh. And so, even if we get close and have to pull over yeah. and watch, I'm fine with that. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. We're gonna be great. So we're gonna go eat some subs. I snarfed down my food as fast as I possibly could so that I can get driving mm -hmm. while Sherry finishes eating. Sherry, mm -hmm. thoughts on your sub? It's good. Yeah? It's great for midnight when we're just hungry. <laughs> yeah, I will say, <laughs> uh, I had a bite of Sherry's. It is good. I think where the mistake was made. I put like veggies and stuff on it. I think I should have just stuck with like just straight chicken strips. If you're going chicken strips, you gotta go like cheese, barbecue sauce, maybe some onions and stuff. Mm -hmm. But you can't like, like chicken strips don't associate with anything that is healthy. Right. <laughs> right? Chicken strips live in their own world of happiness and joy, and we need to let them live there. <laughs> My Italian sub was really good. Um, yeah, just like Sherry said, for midnight, I'm stoked that that's what we had. Yeah. But we got to get driving, so yeah. let's go. All right, friends, we are here in Port Canaveral. We just got here. We're actually here at Jetty Park. And Jetty Park is like the main park when cruise ships leave out of Port Canaveral. People come to like wave by. And it's one of the places that I'd read online to come and watch shuttle launches from. And there are a bunch of people here. So let's go get our spot. Sherry, we woke up this morning in Alaska. <laughs> we did. And now we're in Florida yes. about to watch a rocket launch. Correct. <laughs> what do you think about this? I think it's kind of exciting. One thing you can never say about us is that we live a dull life. <laughs> so you guys can see there's actually quite a few people here. So we actually have the live stream going right here on my phone from SpaceX. And it's going to be right out here in front of us in just a couple minutes. So I am nerding out so much right now. It's like shaking. I am, that was one of the coolest things. That's something I have always wanted to see in person. Yeah. Um, to get to see a rocket launch. And it was, like it was beautiful. It was and really cool. I don't even know how to describe it. I mean, it's like, you're watching something going to space. Right. That's crazy. Yeah. That was so cool. I'm so glad we came and did that, Sherry. Me too. After a long, long, long day of flying from Alaska to Florida, uh -huh. thank you for being willing to stay up an extra hour or so <laughs> to go watch a rocket launch with me. Yeah, you're welcome. Now, what do you say we go to our hotel, yes, check in, get comfy, and then go to sleep. and then go dancing. Let's find a nightclub. <laughs> no, maybe we'll go to sleep. Friends, we just got to our hotel, and we're actually staying at a hotel that we stayed at before. And when we found out that the launch was happening tonight, and we wanted to stay in this area, I went on Priceline, and they had a great rate. Um, in fact, this hotel is actually kind of cool to us because this was the hotel we were staying at before one of our Disney uh, cruises, and we vlogged. And I think it may be. 
I'd love to go back and look. I think it may be our most watched Disney Cruise vlog series. Started right here at this hotel with me making coffee. Uh, and we are back here at the Radisson. I'm super excited. So let's get our bags, let's go get checked in. All right, here we go to the front lobby. Now, I do wanna say, I don't remember like the rooms here being anything super special. What we loved about this hotel was the pool. The pool outside was beautiful and huge and amazing. And my plan is to get up tomorrow morning and go sit out by the pool and relax and rest before we have to check out. So honestly, it was close to the rocket launch and it had a great pool and that's what we wanted. And I both noticed the exact same thing when we walked into the lobby, uh, the astronaut in the Santa hat. <laughs> like, I love this so much. And let me just show you outside real quick. The pool, it opens at 8 a.m. Oh my gosh. They have like a tiki bar over here. And just, you guys, this is so beautiful and so nice with like the rock formations and the water. And I think this was a hundred and like $10, which is crazy cheap for this. So. I'm gonna be enjoying this in the morning. Probably gonna get some drinks over there. But for now, Sharon and I wanna take our photo with the astronaut, and then we wanna go get some sleep. <laughs> but that is where we're gonna end our travel day vlog. Mm -hmm. um, what a day. What a day. I feel like it's been like four days long. <laughs> it has been a long one. I will say, it's probably because of the excitement of the launch. I am just not tired. Like, I, I, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm so excited. Like it was, that was, that was a memory that I will never forget. It was really cool. I'm so glad we did that. Yeah. Even after a long day of travel. Well, friends, we love you guys. And this is just kind of the start of our Florida vacation. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing. I don't even know what to tell you from, to expect from this series. Right. Because I don't even know what we're going to do. It's just one of those vacations yeah. where we get to wake up and say, what do we want to do today? And I kind of love that. I love that a lot. But for now, the thing we want to do is sleep go to sleep. So friends, we love you guys so much. Thanks for being a part of our community. Thanks for following along on all of our adventures and we will see you tomorrow on the next Lug Life video. Mm -hmm.